Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to give you some tips for including all sorts of different things in your newsfeed comments on your SharePoint site. So if your SharePoint site has a newsfeed, it probably looks something like this, and you can see that it's a pretty simple text field. When you click into it, the only thing that you're given is really this camera icon here that says picture when you hover over it. But you can actually add a lot of different things. So let's start with how to add a URL. You can simply type or copy and paste your URL right into your newsfeed comment. And I pasted my URL in here and you can see that I get a pop-up box that shows me what the URL is that I pasted and then what I want my display text to look like. So if I wanted to change my display text to sign in, I'll click the checkbox. I get a formatting change, and then if I click post, you can see that it actually shows up as a clickable URL link. You can also do this with a link to a SharePoint document. So if you have a link to something in SharePoint or OneDrive for Business, you can do the same process of copying and pasting that link into your comment and then changing the display text so it's a little bit friendlier to the other people reading your newsfeed. You can also mention people in your newsfeed posts. So to mention somebody, you'll start with the at sign and then begin typing their name. So I just typed two letters and my address book is searched automatically while I do so. So once I find the person who I want to mention, I can click on their name in the list and that person will get a notification if they've enabled them that I mentioned them in a post. Let me post it and I will show you what it looks like. I have the option to click on the name or actually follow the person who is mentioned. If you use tags on your SharePoint site, you can include those in a post as well. Simply type the pound sign or the hashtag sign and include a tag that you want to attach to your newsfeed post. Now I don't have any pre-filled tags here, but let's say I want to tag it with project. If there was an existing project tag, it would have already come up just like my contact came up when I was mentioning somebody in the previous post. But let me click post and show you that that has now become a clickable and followable tag. You can also include a picture in your post by clicking the camera icon. When the wizard comes up to choose a picture, click browse, choose your image, click upload, and then when you're ready to post, click post and your picture is included. One last thing, you can also include a video. So once you have a URL of your video from a hosting site like YouTube, you can paste it in. Similar to how you added URL display text for in the previous examples, we'll do so, click post. Oh, and this is actually a good example here. So I pasted, I changed my text, but I didn't click the check mark. So make sure to do that to save your display text. Click the check mark and then I'll post and I can delete my mistake. Hope those tips helped. Thanks.